All right, we're parked on the north side of the property, but we're actually facing south, southerly. Uh, property's on the top of the screen where the uh, truck is parked. And as we look southerly in a moment here, we'll be looking over the property itself. There we go. So that's the 81 acres uh, off to the left. If we pan that way in a moment, and we did, you're going to see the Lake of the Ozarks. So this uh, tract has um, technical lake frontage at the end of that cove toward the right of the screen. And I'm sure we'll fly over that in a moment and check it out. Extremely cool property. Uh, so paved road frontage on the north side. We've just pulled off the paved road, paved road onto the level area. That's Pine Cove Road, by the way. Uh, it's easy to tell when you get to the property because just on the other side of the street from where the truck is parked, you'll see uh, the little fire station. So really good landmark to know you're there. So I believe that we're just going to slowly fly over this and, and check it out. Uh, this property was logged a couple years ago. Uh, it was actually leased out for a while. Um, so this video might, this video was clearly taken after it was logged, but uh, I believe the video uh, is from, from last year or possibly the year before. So there, there's going to be a little more growth, um, but you're going to get a good look at the property here. So we're still looking southerly, big, big piece of acreage. Um, you've got flat areas, you've got steep areas, you've got a little creek that runs through the center uh, and feeds into the Lake of the Ozarks, which is really pretty neat. Hard to do a drone video on such a large property property because there's so much to see. We've only explored just a small bit of this property, but I mean, there are trails everywhere. Um, we saw deer beds all over the place. Uh, it's just phenomenal out there. Beautiful section of Lake of the Ozarks, by the way. Um, great for fishing, uh, floating, tubing, all that good stuff. I mean. Uh, you've got some nice, there's a super nice uh, public boat launch just about two miles to the north um, called the Brown Bend, Brown Bend Boat Launch, I believe. And that's free and it's uh, got a fishing pier and all kinds of good stuff, so that's pretty cool. So the property wasn't clear cut, but it was logged of the commercial hardwood trees, um, mostly the, the white oaks and, and red oaks. Uh, a lot of timber left. Um, thousands of, of mid-sized trees and a lot of young trees and a lot of that timber is going to grow really quickly now without the competition from uh, some of those uh, older older hardwood trees we're getting a good look but i kind of wish we would have gotten the drone closer to the ground to really see the topography from where the truck was parked like i said it's level you can pull right off onto the property from the paved road um, but then it does uh, go down it drops down from there and we didn't really explore that too much. We didn't find, we didn't see any apparent trail from that north side. So when we um, explored the property uh, later on, what we did was we went down to the east and there was a trail that went back in. And you can see that if you look at the listing page. So instantacres.com is, is where you need to go to, first of all, to see if this is still available. And if it is, you can look at the listing page and we'll have tons of information and maps and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, it's a little tough just with the, the drone video to show you really how the property sits. But if you look at, the, like I say, the listing page, uh, instantacres.com, you can really see uh, we've got a great, great interactive map that we use, and you can check that out. Okay, so now we're probably over about the middle of the property, and we're looking east. And that is Lake of the Ozarks. You can see that cove that's protruding toward us. So the property goes east all the way to the uh, the the very tip of that cove. You can see some of the trails. I mean, you can have a lot of fun with a four-wheeler or a side-by-side -side out on this property. Um, good good standard zoning. It's zoned, zoned residential, so you can build out here. Uh, you can talk to the county, but I've been told you can even have uh, a mobile home uh, if it meets certain requirements. Um, they're pretty good about that in Camden County. I hope we get down and check out the little creek bed. Um, there's a small creek that flows over it, and the couple times we've been out, it's, by the way, all the houses and all the buildings you see, those are not on this property. Those are on adjacent properties. This is just raw acreage. Um, but the little creek, the couple times we've been out here, uh, has had water in it. So it's a small creek. I mean, I don't think you'll ever be able to fish in it, but you could certainly use it to create some ponds or even a large lake on this property. Um, 
always cool to have live water. I have no idea if it's year round, uh, the creek, it's best to assume it's not. Um, but like I said, the couple times we've been out there, there, there has been water in it. We're really familiar with this section of the lake um, because uh, we spend a couple weeks right up here uh, every summer. Um, some of the guys and girls from work and families and, and whatnot come up here right to this section, so we're familiar with this cove. There's a good restaurant. Um, if we look up with the drone, you'll see the restaurant. It's, it's in the cove. So now we're looking at the end of the cove. We're basically over the eastern tip of the property. This video looks like it was probably late summer, so I don't I don't know if the water level's been dropped down at all. They drop it down at the end of the, the busy season, basically. Off to the right, you can see the dock where that restaurant is. Good restaurant. Let me spin around here. There we go. So now we're, we're looking westerly, and I believe we're kind of looking almost right into the sun, so uh, this might look a little washed out. House is on the right. So this, it's the 81 acres basically on, on a couple sides borders some small subdivisions that were done uh, in the 1950s. And so there are some, some houses that you can see um, that border the property. But I mean, talk about privacy, you've got 81 acres. Uh, you could put your home or campsite back in the middle and never have to see anyone if you didn't want to. So they were getting a little look at what appears to be the creek bed. I can see some, looks like sunlight glinting off the water there. That trail that goes up toward the top of the screen, actually there's several trails, but the one in the middle going up toward the top of the screen goes west up to uh, what, what we call the, the glade area on the property. And it, it appears to be a natural Ozark glade which is a uh, kind of a flat uh, area um, with a limestone base and uh, short grass on top, basically, really pretty area. Um, and for some reason, um, when this was logged, they, they left the timber around the glade area. So it made a really nice natural setting. You can't see it uh, right now in the aerial. I'm sure we flew over it, but a really beautiful area might be one possible spot for a really private campsite or even a home site. I sure hope we get right down and check out that creek bed because it, it, it's definitely, you can definitely see the water in it. So peaceful out there, so private, just just gorgeous. I mean, to have a property this large uh, at the Lake of the Ozarks is basically unheard of. It's a really unique opportunity for somebody. I mean, in addition to the, the little creek, I mean, you could have springs on this property. We have not explored much of it at all, but I mean if you look at the topo map, it looks like it's tailor-made to have some springs um, in different locations, so go ahead and feel free to, if the property is available, um, go feel free to check it out. Uh, give us a call and, and we can uh, let you know if it's available or not. Or not. Um, as always, you can just go to the website at instantacres.com because that's updated by the minute and that'll tell you what's available. You can give us a call in the office, of course, or you can email us at sales at instantacres.com. Oh, we're almost to the end of the video. I don't think we're gonna get down much further, but you can see that creek bed. You know, I remember what happened when we did this, is we were trying to get to the, like right to the creek bed, and we started to lose signal on the drone. Uh, so we had to fly back up, but you're seeing kind of the glade area. If you look toward the middle of the screen, left of the road, and that's it for the video. <laughs> but yeah, check out the, the website at instantacres.com. Uh, definitely, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube, YouTube channel, can't say that, YouTube channel, please do that. Um, feel free to share these videos with anybody you think might be interested. Uh, and if you go to our website at instantacres.com, you can sign up for our email newsletter. I believe it's the upper right corner. Just enter your email address, and uh, once a week, we'll send you out an email, let you know what's coming up, and. Um, the, the brand new properties and all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, that was a fun voiceover. If you have any questions, uh, just let us know. We'd love to talk to you about, about uh, any of our available properties at instantacres.com.